This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. doing up here in the attic? Comedy at one off. There's nothing to watch. <laughs> Come, Nick. Everything's 3D Hollywood today. I remember back when I was, I was your age, you used to use the old TV set. No satellite hookups or anything. Just took our signals out of the air. But wasn't that dangerous? Well, of course, uh, before the uh, Surgeon General found a link between uh, TV signals and cancer, that was before your time. Remember some old 2D shows, though? Uh, some are even in black and white. Wow! Of course, that was uh, before President Turner put that enforced colorization law through in the 20s. Those shows must have been really boring. They weren't even interactive. Well, uh, don't be so sure about that. There were some great shows back then. Oh, wait a minute. Let me look at this. Mm. Ooh, what? what's that? Oh, it's called a VCR. <laughs> Uh, see, back before all the video was put directly into computer memory in the com net, people used to tape shows. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, there's, there's a tape already in here. Let me let me hook this up here. Let me see what we got. Uh, oh, ooh, oh, damn radiation. <coughs> Come back with us to the 60s and 70s, the dwelling place of the lost generation. An era whose heroes, role models, and very lives were molded and formed by weekly installments of favorite television programs. Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. Welcome to the vast wasteland. Welcome, Welcome home. Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. I'm your host, Mark Schmidbar, along with Wilbert Neal and usually Marty Wiley. We're here to talk about 60s and 70s television. Tonight, it's animal shows. But before we jump into that, I just want to tell you that our, uh, we're on Tuesdays at 6, Wednesdays at 10, and Thursdays at 3 p.m. on ACTV Cable 21. And if you want to write to us, and boy, are those letters just rolling in, you want to write to Box 15, 15, 26, Columbus, Ohio, Four three two one five. Well, before we jump into the big uh, the big show, uh, of course, like every other show, we have to have a correspondent in the Middle East. So uh, Marty, at this point, is in the Middle East. Let's 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 see if we can pick her up. Uh, uh, Marty, Marty, you there right now? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, well, uh, well, we're we're kind of having a we're are we having some trouble with the uh, audio link? Uh, can can are you getting anything, Wilbert? Uh, I I don't seem to be getting anything. Well, let's see if I can push the flipper here. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 we're not getting anything. Uh, uh, going up at seems, uh, uh, as I understand it, uh, 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 we've decided to blow the entire concept, and she's jumping on the Concord at this very moment. So she'll be here in in just a few moments. So uh, let's uh, let's just move on to the whole uh, subject of animal shows, I suppose. Okay. Well, certainly, uh, animal shows have been the one of the staples of uh, of the uh, of well, first kitty kitty shows, uh, but also it was you know. Ever since that old Lassie movie, Lassie Come Home, yeah. uh, it was like, oh, you got to have the cute kids and the cute animals together. And uh, so, so what, what, what do we start off with? I suppose, uh, well, certainly Lassie. I guess we pretty much have to start off with it. Oh, Marty, Marty's back. How you doing? How, how was the Middle East? Uh, War as hell. War as hell? Well, War as hell. Uh, 
But well, damn, I'll be able to write good reports in school. <laughs> there you go. Anyways, I didn't want to didn't want to uh, interrupt you, uh, Wilbert. Um, oh my goodness! This, I see you all the time. Well, this Lassie yeah. thing. This is yeah. the, just going on. This is an institution here. <laughs> Forever. And there's even a new Lassie series now. I know. I don't know. Did the, is that still on, or did that get canceled? Um, I've seen it on Saturday. Yeah, it's on. Like, is it Family Channel or is that just syndicated? No, I've actually seen it on real, t you know. <laughs> real, real TV. Real TV. <laughs> Regular TV. Excuse me. Like channel something local here, but it's like that weird time between cartoons mm -hmm. and sports. They gotta uh, find some place. To, that. Uh, gotta show something. No area. The yeah. nebulous zone. <laughs> so, so that started with. Uh, well, they, well, first you had first you had Jeff. I remember that. Yeah, that was the first uh, the first kid, and and Lassie had to really have problems because, you know, uh, went through characters left and right, and he's, and this uh, listing shows just dozens of of uh, kids and parents, and I was reading about that. It started with let's see, we we started with Jeff, and uh, Jeff uh, obviously grew up and grew out of the part. He was no longer a cute little kid. But you know, the dog was magic. The dog didn't age. Yeah, but Ooh. the dog didn't age, but the dog kind of changed his the gender dog. several yeah. times. Yeah, the Dorian Gray dog. <laughs> there's, some, there's some picture of the well, dog that's, that's, that's growing that's older the thing. every year. Exactly. I'd, I'd say that the dog, the dog had this, this picture in a in, in a in a a meal bowl yeah. or something. <laughs> <laughs> or in the back of the doghouse. That yeah. must have been it, because nobody yeah. else could see right, it. Right, exactly. And it, as the dog just stayed its old age, it, characters went, they just dropped off like flies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just it incredible. Make me cry, though. Because mm -hmm. I had a dog. Was you it know, Collie? No. Oh. No. We just had a mutt. Oh. But it's like, Lassie would get into these dangerous scrapes, and I'd be like, Oh, what about my dog? <laughs> and I would cry. Mm -hmm. Well, what? we had to... Uh, this, this thing you know, it started here in September of, of 54, 54, which is actually long before, but still. Right. It's it just the institution 71. thing. And look, Cloris Leachman was a character on here at she a was, time. <laughs> well, well, they had well, they had, they had had Jeff, and Jeff got too old for the part, and so they adopted this kid named Timmy, who doesn't even, in, in this listing, doesn't even have a last name. He's an just orphan kid. Timmy. Never given a last name. And so he stayed with... <laughs> <laughs> so give they adopted him. They didn't know if they were. <laughs> well, not sure. It was a trial period <laughs> thing. They went. Eh, don't even give him a his this, name. This and is everything. wild, dude. So they, so they, so they gave. What? So the they, that so they gave the, Timmy the, so, the character names. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah. So they, so they gave Timmy. Uh, so Timmy's there, and then uh, the first adoptive parents leave. But leave the kid with the dog at the same house. It's sold the farm. The <laughs> this is, kid this and the is dog really, came with the really <laughs> an innovative concept. It's a, they weren't actually the, the parents didn't adopt the, the kid. The, the house obviously did. So so the so the kids stayed there and new adoptive parents move in. And of course this is during the big June Lockhart years. The hassle of changing right. <laughs> yeah. that, that crap. Just leave them there, yeah. you know. Uh, so, um, Makes mucho sense to me. so what did you say about the, about the, uh, well, just the character names, look at this guy here, there's, no, it's Gramps, Gramps Miller, right. there's Sylvester, yeah. Sylvester Porky Brockway, just, just these names are funny, <laughs> Jeff Miller, <laughs> Farm, <clears throat> okay, um, Doc Weaver, that, that sounds like somebody that's, that's not Charlie uh, Weaver, yeah, right, Ruth and Paul Martin, <laughs> <laughs> So you mean they used to be farmers before they were a doctor and a nurse? Yeah, before they, yeah. Before they moved to, uh, where's the Pine <laughs> Valley? Pine Valley. Yeah. <laughs> this is just uh, great. Corey, well, Corey Stewart, so Bo the, Boomer Bates. <laughs> and, and Boomer, and, and Boomer and Lassie. Wasn't yeah, well, here's Boomer. Remember here's that? Here's Boomer. That's, a, that's another <laughs> yeah, animal, show. animal show. How so, long did the... Uh, Uncle, Uncle Petri Martin. Uncle uh, Martin. There's Uncle Martin. Uncle Martin. <laughs> <laughs> this is scary. But How Cloris long Leachman... did the uh, Timmy Lassie... Show. Uh, well, Timmy's Timmy? 57 to 64. Until he got too and old to be cute. <laughs> Boom, you're good. Well, and, now and he's then, then, on the new yeah, as, as Uncle Tim. A, a, Uncle Tim, <laughs> like yeah. But not the same character, supposedly. Wait a minute. Tim, Uncle Martin. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is scary stuff, <laughs> boys and girls. My favorite but version parallels. Ruth Martin <laughs> from 57 to 58 was Cloris Leachman. Wow. And then later, Ruth Martin from 58 to 64 was June Lockhart. Lockhart. <laughs> and boy, what a... There's, if you can't, you couldn't find two different uh, types two of people to play the same people. part. Yeah. <laughs> Cloris Leachman and June Lockhart. <laughs> this but, is strange. Uh, so, ah! so then you had, so ah! then you had the, the <laughs> second adoptive parents deciding they were going to move to Australia, and they took Timmy, but they couldn't take the dog because of quarantine laws, and 
Then, so then he went to some forest rangers. Jet. What is Corey. Was Corey. it Corey? Corey yeah, Stewart. Corey, okay. Yeah. So, so then you had the, the, the forest ranger years. Yeah. And finally, the forest ranger left for some reason. Oh, he was seriously wounded or something in, in some big fire incident or some forest incident. So, yeah. and then... Only Lassie could have started that <laughs> forest fire. <laughs> so you, and so finally, by the end of the show, Lassie has so much become... I mean, he always was the star of the show. But now to the point of there is no owner for Lassie. Lassie just kind of wanders by, helps helps somebody, and leaves. Kind of becomes a Route 66 <laughs> kind of thing. It sounds like, um, <laughs> like David Banner. Yeah. Banner. <laughs> <laughs> Wandering aimlessly throughout the, the I think America's the show heartland. Had nothing at all Lassie, to do with the make her mad. And <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you want to get Lassie mad. <laughs> you wouldn't like her when she's mad. <laughs> then she turned into a cartoon. Right. Right. She <laughs> got mad, turned into a cartoon, maybe. Yeah, then they had the, uh, what was that? Lassie's Rescue Rangers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and, <laughs> yeah. And so that one, so it just went on and on and on. And they finally said, enough. And I, I think I remember, like, in the early 80s, they tried to bring it back as a movie. And it didn't do very well, so they said they canned it again. And uh, like last year, they brought it up again yeah. with yet another Lassie. With all the what? The, how many? There must have been like I heard there was like eleven different Lassies if you count all the way back to the well, to I'm the. Sure there's more than that. To the um, the Lassie from the original movie. But you know, it has nothing to do. The show never had any tie with the dog in the in the novel, in the movie. Yeah. Lassie Come Home will make you cry. Mm. Make you cry and mm -hmm. cry and cry. <laughs> it's a sad book. <laughs> it was always, you know, it, Lassie had these incredible abilities to operate equipment and uh, and tell people exactly what was going on. I mean, it became... It, it became uh, Almost a, comedic. Yeah, it really was. You know, it's like, Roof, roof, roof. Oh, there's someone hurt on Route 53? Oh, okay. Where is he? Roof, roof, roof. Oh, about 10 miles away from Pickford. Well, we better jump in the truck and get yeah, him. What kind of car was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 67 Dart. Okay, well, uh, you know. With the T-top? Yeah, okay, Lassie. <laughs> oh, what came after Lassie? Well, let's see. Uh, well, Lassie just kind of... Because I remember the Lassie Flipper Gentle Bend time as all being like one era. Yeah. Well, this Lassie just went off forever. Ooh, that darn Pamela Ferdin was on that show. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Wilbert had a crush on her. No. <laughs> that darn Pamela Ferdin. Well, Gentle Ben wasn't around until like 67, and Flipper, Flipper, was... Flipper was in 64, 64 to 68. Okay, so, it... so there were some Because it seemed like there. there was a time when Flipper and Gentle Ben were like on in the same hour. They yeah, could well. well let's Probably. Probably. Yes, what, what, 64 to... Um, well, it could have been there in that 67... I was so jealous of those kids on yeah. Flipper. I was so jealous of them. They got they, to live in a park. They, they never swim seemed in the to go ocean. to school. They never went <laughs> to school. Okay. They just Here swim in the ocean, then, take the boat out, get yeah. in trouble, yeah. dolphin save you. Oops, Regular day. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> exactly does a dolphin save you. <laughs> like Lassie does, dolphin, goes back and gets help. Comes, yeah, a dolphin <laughs> comes up and's like, Whoa, oh, what's the problem, Flipper? Oh, no. <laughs> no fish in the sea. Why? Oh, that? no. <laughs> what? I don't understand that at all. I had to think about waving, yeah. you know, getting up on that tail. Yeah. <laughs> I, I always wanted to do a do a do a do a reunion show for Flipper and Flipper's a poor old geriatric thing. <laughs> we don't see old dolphins, Flipper the you next know? generation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, son of Flipper. Yeah, son of Flipper. <laughs> How would they know that it was Flipper's son? Mm -hmm. Because it wouldn't have to be trained. It would just come right up to the dock. That's right. <laughs> Make the little noises. When they, when they did the movie, Pull you in the um, robot. Day of the Dolphin, they said th they didn't train those dolphins. Those dolphins just swam in, did the movie, and when they finished it, the dolphins went away. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. they had a contract with them. Sure. Oh, <laughs> fish is all gone. We're leaving. And <laughs> <laughs> a good agent. They just came in, you know. Got well, the, I was got, jealous of those got guys. Some of the, got some of the net, uh, net profits from that. <laughs> you know, they got, uh, uh, got a couple of points. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, this gentle Ben thing here. Basically, we got Ben, who's ben. a 650 pound American black bear, who ben. fortunately was as friendly and lovable <laughs> as he was large. Lucky for little <laughs> Quinn Howard, huh? Well, <laughs> <laughs> there, by golly, Quinn Howard would have lost a few lives in that one. Ben. He's another kid that's been around just forever. Right. His, his head is never, his body has never caught up with the size of his head, though. He's, but yeah, but his brother's like really, really famous, so he still gets to work in movies. <laughs>
Clint Howard, excuse me. Clint Howard. Clint Howard. Clint Howard is the, uh, <laughs> Ronnie's earlier. little brother. Yeah. But he always said, Ben, Ben. Oh, I always just remember him. I, 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 I can't look at him and not think of Blaylock. Blaylock. Um, Blaylock. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, Petronia. <laughs> We'll go and save the people, Ben, but first, the Trania. Trania. Yeah. <laughs> so, see, Ed, well, all, all, the big thing I remember from that was the infamous, uh, that hover boat deal he had. The, the, oh, the, 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 like, so uh, cool. the Everglade boat. The Everglade boat. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, I thought, yeah. what a neato idea. <laughs> yeah, that was, like, cool. Because that was always in the credits, wasn't it? That was in the yeah. opening. Yeah, they were always they're always zipping around, there and they got Ben in the front or in yeah. the back to yeah. add weight to the yeah. boat there, you know, <laughs> and they could just do all sorts of things. <laughs> they had to go y'all time. That skimmer thing. And they yeah. just time after time, hunters would come by and oh, there's a bear. We can take it. it's bear season. It's like oh no, but it's our pet, so it's you ben. can't take it out. You can't shoot me. <laughs> you know, so who else do we have? We had uh, smack those bullets back at you, my guy. <laughs> Well, a, a lot of shows just, I mean, they weren't necessarily animal shows, but they had animals on them. Well, hey, we're missing a big Me one here. Me chimp. It's really Mr. Ed. Mr. Mr. Ed, Ed, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can't, we can't, can't, we can't leave Ed. Ed out. That's right. The uh, show uh, was actually created by, uh, wasn't, it wasn't created by, it was produced by George Burns. Oh, I thought the horse just, like, showed up one yeah. day and started talking, yeah. so they did the show. Uh, and we, then when it was over, a show just, around like, this. left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. they, they, you, got the, you got the Francis the Talking Mule yeah. thing, the movies and all, right. and, and oh, they, just, funny. they just come into the, the Mr. Ed idea and here. It certainly, certainly became like a cult thing because it was, I mean, I mean the things about the, about the back masking and the theme they talked about in the 80s. There was a big thing I remember they said, oh, if you play the Mr. Ed theme backwards, there's this demonic messages in it and all this. <laughs> I'm going to stop him. <laughs> I have that record. I didn't bring it tonight. I forgot. Well, we wouldn't want to play it on the air. And, uh, it has a good picture, and, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> he sang not only the Mr. Ed song, but the pretty little filly with the ponytail. Yeah. Yeah. It's his big hit. Only horse to have a hit record. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Ed was a good show. Yeah. I think we still run that one to death at Nick and Night. Nick and oh, Night. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Easily. To the point now, we've pretty well seen all the Ed shows. And yet it's still on at 8 o'clock after all this time. That's okay. But they pushed back stuff like Green Acres, which I'm not very happy about. Aww. <laughs> pushed it back to, what, 11 o'clock or 11.30? That's what you buy a VCR for. Well, <laughs> I suppose. Me Waiting and the Chimp. That. Yeah. When did that come out? Gosh, that was like in the mid-70s there. Oh, no, it wasn't. It had to be. Really? Yeah. Ted Bessel. No, it, it was Ted Bessel. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, oh, I know what I'm, I'm thinking of BJ and the bear. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. that's what you're thinking of. The bear was a, was a chimpanzee. Exactly. That made a that. lot of sense to me. Yeah. Okay, me and the it. chimp is early 70, is uh, January 13th of 72 to May 18th of 72. Yeah. Yeah, that's a long running show. Ted Bessel and, and Nita Gillette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a fine concept that was that they. What was it? I, what's it say here? They, they, um, the, the, the kids, uh, their kids found these two, um, well, they found the two chimps in a local park, and they brought them home as pets. Heck yeah! Look sure, at that! Sure, why not? And so, and what a, and what a supreme it, acting. wrong here is it? Is two children find one chimp? Oh, is yeah. it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he in the chimp. Chimp. Chimpa. Well, you have to be lonely all the time, then I suppose. Like, yeah, like when you buy a hamster, it's like, oh, you got to buy another hamster because they, so they can. Uh, no, you don't want two hamsters. Because then, then you, you wind never up have with two four hamsters. hamsters. <laughs> it's never Real a very fast. long period. So, um, uh, it must have been a supreme moment for Ted Bessel of uh, being basically. Uh, Going from that girl to a mom. Well, that well, that girl. What, what a great acting moment. But uh, <laughs> to, that to this, to the point where it's like, well, now I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm just shopping and dying for you know. Scripts. It's like playing second second banana to a to a chimpanzee. <laughs> 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 I mean, as it were. Net profit, second banana. Oh, 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 oh. So <laughs> I'm just rolling off the top here, folks. <laughs> oh, we're Boy, it's getting deep right here. So <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, let's see, what you, else did we have? How about the show? How about the show that couldn't be on if it weren't for animals? Those? Mutual of Omaha's. <laughs> Wild, Wild Kingdom. Kingdom, where Marlon, what's his name, Marlon, Marlon Perkins. Perkins, he de basically sat back and let the big, strong, good-looking guy wrestle with everything. Yeah, what was his name? 
I'm a Jim. Jack. Jim. Jim. Jim, 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 Jack, Jim, Joe, whatever his name was. Jim, probably Jim. more than one. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. Here. It's like, you know, well, I, while I sit in the back, uh, you know, uh, drinking martinis in my tent, uh, <laughs> Jim, Jim's out wrestling, wrestling the, alligators. The, the, yeah. The, Getting us specimens for us wolves, to take back you know, to the yeah. zoo. <laughs> what a lousy job Jim had, you know. And, Marlon just sat back like and did one, commercials for, he was you like, know, you know, in the, in the wild, it's a really, it's a, it's, it's a really, a, it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> yeah, that's that a good word. It's tough. And it's tough kind of like in life. And that's why you need mutual voma. And then they'd zip into a commercial. And <laughs> when you're out in the wild, by golly, animals can bite your hand off. But remember, don't bite the hand and that the feeds you. you. <laughs> Right. <laughs> was nice. Bad pun city. <laughs> but he would like send out the guy in the real safari clothes, you right. know. <laughs> Go out and You never even saw Marlin. It was always like, you know, he was Oh like, no, he'd be like, there with the noose maybe. Oh, 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 get its head around here and I'll, yeah. I'll knock it out. No, he was in the drawing room always, you know, it's like well, here's a map of where we were. You yeah, know? he knew where yeah. they went. <laughs> yeah. This is where they went. I hang I hang around here, you know. <laughs> What's he say about it? Perkins, Marlon Perkins and Jim Fowler. Jim, Jim Fowler. Okay. Oh, yeah, because he went on to the uh, San Diego Zoo. And okay. then Stan Brock. The, her, him, Jack Hanna never thing. did that if show? If the show would have lasted longer, we had been... <laughs> <laughs> it's Marlon Perkins and hi, I'm Jack Hanna. Yeah, Because <laughs> 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 he'll that get right out funny. there. He doesn't oh, care. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get... Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> where's... <so>, whoa! <laughs> Better get back to the car. <laughs> there was a big old lion out there. She was gonna bite me. <laughs> well, no, he ran one way, the lion ran the other way. <laughs> Ooh. Well, let's see. They had the. Uh, well, we tied, we mentioned. Um, what did we mention earlier? Yeah. The. Um, <laughs> no, <Lassie? Vandermeer>. no. <laughs> Show we never get. We we talked Mr. about. Mr. T never and got Tina. Well, T and G Cat. <laughs> no, uh, me and <laughs> PJ and the bear. We never okay. really got into that. I mean, That's true. Well, it, it, I didn't like it. No, not really an animal show. <laughs> it is, but it, it was isn't. a show with an animal. With an animal. <laughs> animal exactly. Even well, though it wasn't the animal in the well, title. Well, yeah. And the first one I turned it on, I thought, well, is BJ J and, the chimpanzee or the guy? I don't right. know. <laughs> Jay well, that was the whole thing. Kind of, kind of hard in the cab to have a big bear, you know. I guess. So, of course, it then they should have called it BJ and the chimp. But everyone was worried people would put those. There's parallels to me and the chimp, and so they said we better not do that. We better call BJ and the bear. So, well, they could have just called it BJ, I suppose. But they could have just called it off and <laughs> saved our time and, and not wasted our time with it. I show that actually, uh, certainly in the in the late 70s, the the Silverman years, when even bad shows managed to spin off stuff. That Lobo show, <laughs> Cheryl I Lobo. Used to like Lobo. <laughs> What Old about like shows that had neat on. animals on them, like well, Fred on Beretta, yeah. the cockatoo, Ladder Dog on mm -hmm. uh, Please Don't Eat the Daisies. Mm -hmm. Made everybody want to go out and buy one of those great big dogs until everybody found on, out um, how big those great big dogs were. <laughs> on uh, My Three Sons, turn them into Tramp. the dog. Tramp. Tramp, there you go. Tiger on the Brady Bunch. Tiger on the Brady Bunch. A lot of famous dogs. Oh, yeah. Notice they don't put cats on TV. Oh, hey, now well, had an ocelot. <laughs> well, cats won't, cat. cats won't sit still for a camera angle. Well. <laughs> cats are like, well, I'm not sitting here. I'm going to go over here. You know, dogs will like, sit the here. Lights are too hot. <laughs> cats are always <laughs> licking themselves yeah. in the worst places. You don't, so. you don't want that on the air, especially oh, during yeah. the family hour. Like, so. You can't have them friendly dogs going up there. <laughs> 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 Sedate them up so they just kind of sit in the corner and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Down, down, bad, bad. No, no, no. <laughs> so, you can train a dog. So of course, the, uh, also uh, is the famous, uh, Ar well, we mentioned Green Acres, Arnold the Pig. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> so a the star only... And all of Ellie Mae's critters. Sure. That's right. Uh, oh, stars in their own right. But uh, I, I, well, She always had some chips on there. And, where the heck did she go? <laughs> These chimps. She had, I don't know how many chimps Ellie had. And a go reeler. A go reeler. Yeah, go she reeler. had go reelers. The also known as must Rick have just been, like, calling up Jet every couple of days. We got something new for Ellie. You know, you want to come by and <laughs> and in fact, you know, the reunion show. Eater. She worked for the zoo, didn't <laughs> yeah. she? Yeah, well, yeah. She, might she had her own zoo. Yeah. she had her own little. Her own little zoo zoo. Ellie's zoo. Ellie's critters. Ellie's critters. <laughs> Sounds like a cereal, don't it? Hi. Noctari.
Oh, yeah. Oh, Clarence the Cross-Eyed Lion, and it was for true. <laughs> <laughs> Doctari, dun, 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 Doctari was neat dun, dun, though. Because like they had the, the cross-eyed lion on there that was for real. Mm. It was a for real cross-eyed lion. Yeah, Clarence And they had Judy, of course, had to screw everything up, but they still loved that little ape. Oh, right. yeah. Judy the chimp. Judy the chimp. Oh, didn't Judy the chimp go on to be on Lost in Space? Is that funny little <laughs> chimp fancy character that has a... The space monkey. <laughs> I don't know if it was the same here. ape or not. Well, well. if you're, you're going to mention uh, Doc Terry, you got to mention Born Free. Yeah. Born Another. Born Free. Elsa and the Lions and the whole nine yards. As and that. free as the whatever. The wind blows and the grass grows. Born, Born Free to train Follow your heart. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Change to another show. Um, well, uh, yeah, we were just mentioning a bunch of shows that, that had animals. Um, and there were a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> he had no point to lead up to. So, well, whatever it was, my train of thought derailed. I've just all done. You were me for a minute. <laughs> Ooh, I looked at the monitor and you were me. Uh-oh. Wow, that's something. cool. Okay. Magic of television. That's right. <laughs> the wonder of wonder, the joy of joys. Of course, there were the monkeys. They <laughs> <laughs> were sprinting here a little bit. They didn't even have a monkey. They didn't. No, they didn't. At least one of the banana have. splits was a kind of a monkey. But, uh, well, geez, who, who else did we have? We had, uh, really, when you get into the 70s, they kind of moved away from the... Uh, yeah, you got away from those animal shows. They got it I, think, I think the ASPCA well, found of course out they, they were <laughs> drugging them up, you know, and what was that show, real, they, what we were to stop doing that. That's a real neat one. Maybe it was those amazing, amazing animals. animals. I think that came in the early 80s. Uh, it's around there. Jim, it was Jim, Jim Stafford, Stafford, Priscilla Presley, and Burgess and Meredith. Burgess Meredith, yeah. Yeah. And Priscilla Presley always looked afraid of her animals. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what, what a fine hostess for a show like that. Here, you know, and here's the anteater or something, you know. It's like, ah, get it away from me. Yeah, that was early 80s there. Yeah, that was a good one, though. Well, I All thought right. it was amazing. Hmm. There was one in syndication that was good, too. One undersea world of Jacques Cousteau. So, oh, he was always lots amazing. Of <laughs> lots of animals. He yeah. couldn't yeah. have done the show <laughs> if there weren't the fish in the ocean. He would have had no show. Yeah. Basically, would've he would have gone like, down and said, reef. here's the water. Here, here's, a, here's another well, reef. If it's a coral reef, he would have even been there. Because right. that's an animal. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> See? How cool. It's all one great big world, boys mm -hmm. and girls. <laughs> Everything's related. Captain Kangaroo always had animals on his That's show. true. He always had the Mr. Green Juice. He always bring up that Kinkajou. Yeah. Notice his, his prehensile tail. tail. <laughs> 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 so who else, who else did we have? Yikes. Um, they were like animals that would always make guest spots on things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> special guest. Well, I mean, I, I like Johnny Carson or something. Yeah, they made some guest spots did. there. <laughs> I'm trying to I don't know if that's, that's a term, Bill, but... Bill Burris, who had the big animal... Um... Well, he had a TV show, too. Oh, we didn't mention. Lance a lot of Link's Secret Chimp. Hey! Oh, <laughs> the all-time <laughs> animal <laughs> show! <laughs> yeah, my... Ooh. Ooh. What do you say? <laughs> 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 That's what a degrading true. thing for those animals, boy. <laughs> so I, I, I quickly, I was just mentioning Bill Burris because he yeah. like had the um, he was like an animal wrangler, and he would always bring the animals, and he would have animals. Anytime they needed an animal for a show, they would just had to make a, be a guest appearance or something. He was the one that would bring them in there. He's the one that did it. He would do it. Okay. <laughs> yes. So anyway, hey, well, animals. We're, well, we're be we're being told it's about time to get out of here. So uh, next next time on Vast Wasteland, the show I've been looking forward to a lot. It's Samantha versus Jeannie. Who would win in a fight? No, don't you think there's enough <laughs> fighting going on in the world without having these people fight? We can just look at their different attributes right. in a different show. So, yeah, it's like... Uh... That's the hook, though. Okay. Samantha versus Jeannie. Jeannie. Which one would take a pro piece yeah. stand? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, that's about it. So, for all of us here at Vast Wasteland, we'll see you next time. Good night! Oh, flipper! Oh, someone's in trouble? Oh, no! <laughs>